This is Jubilee Ugly with my Monarch deck. Now this deck has a different build than the last one. In this deck I use Ghost Tricks. I really like this uh, build. During, well, it's also not that easy to use since it depends on how many times my opponent declares an attack. So basically I stop one of my opponent's attacks. Then after I stopped it, I most of the time am able to special summon a ghost trick or a battle fader or discard and then I directly go into tributing it to summon one of my monarchs. Now this card is really good since it can stop my opponent's attack twice. Once when he attacks I equip it on a monster and stop my opponent's attack. And the next time when he attacks directly I can special summon him out of graveyard and it basically takes one attack for the team. Now Jack Frost is really irritating for my opponent since it flips my opponent's monster face down. For example, if he's using a Gravekeeper deck, I flip his monster face down, its effect basically gets neutralized from, from his monster, and I can use my monster's effect on the grave again, for example. Or I simply tribute deck Jack Frost directly and use my Shadow Monarch's effect to banish his monster. Now, with the new Mega Monarch, Mega Ryza, this card will become really good, since new Ryza's effect will be activated, since I trigger the wind, and I use two of each of the Mobius, for the spell and trap removal. I like the Stalo since it lets me see my opponent's hands. Let me well throw one card out. Uh, a mirror force or uh, a dark hole or a solemn warning or anything that could hinder me. Then I or if I get a monster I simply go to the grave and deal 200 times the levels number times attack and then well uh, don't say that right uh, equal to the level times 200 so if I throw it out to level 8 you get 1600 points of damage and then if I tribute the fire monster he takes 1000 damage anyway so if I use the first monarch, since I don't use fire monsters in his deck, I make it a fire type, throw one of his cards out, deal him a thousand damage. I use two of these since, well, it lets me look in my opponent's hand. And since this deck is built on, on tribute summon, I also use one slifer, the sky dragon. Of course, this one can be used in duels. And then, for possible exceed summons my opponent makes, I use this one. Since he cannot special summon monsters with the same level or rank, he cannot summon two exceed monsters that have the same rank, or he cannot special summon, in generally, two monsters to exceed summon. And since I don't use an extra deck, this card is also very good. He summons 101 and I take control over it. Then of course a mirror force and I use this card to neutralize any effect my opponent might have. And then with this card I can tribute summon during my opponent's turn. So this is really irritating for my opponent. And of course the first one on is not only a good card for tribute summoning, but it can also give me a good defense, since he has 2400 defense points. And since there are many types in this deck, because the monarchs have many types, 
this card will come in handy to recycle my Rhyzas or my Cosmonauts. Now I use Creatures Ramp and 2 Soul Exchange since the Storm 4 is not out yet. And then I have two Mystical Space to Fool for extra trap removal. And this card makes my Slifer almost undefeated. As long as I keep enough cards in my hand, Slifer can only be, be destroyed by battle. Since you cannot target it or destroy it with card effects. So Slifer basically becomes unbeatable. As long as I... I think I, as long as I keep two cards in my hand, he's basically unbeatable. Slifer. Each time my opponent summons a monster, their monster's attack goes down with 2,000. And if it reaches zero, it's destroyed. So, you have to summon a monster that has at least 4,100 or something to, uh, to defeat actually it in battle. And of course, for the extra adding ability, I use Return of the Monarchs. And this was you with Lee with my Monarch deck. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I do.